Today I rewrote the career of Memo Ochoa. Here we have a 67 rated 18 year old Memito Ochoa. Instead of starting off his career at America, we have put him in the fiercest rivals and the worst team in the world, Chivas. Leave me alone! But anyways boys, let's get started right away. I can't stand them to see in this ugly shirt. And as always, we have to put a development plan on our players. We're gonna put a sweeper keeper because it bumps up three stats. But anyways, this is him to the end of the first season and let's see how he does. Okay, at the end of season one, this Mexican legend has taken Chivas to fifth place. That means we have qualified for the playoff round and we lost to San Luis right away, bro. As for the apertura, the second tournament of the year we finished in 12th place just making the playoff round and in the playoff round we beat fc juarez in the quarters we beat san luis we're in the semis boys can we actually win our first trophy semis we lost to rayados Monterrey, bro however not winning trophy did not affect the choa whatsoever as he went up a plus four i do believe to a 71 rated and boys you guys have noticed we're not doing an attacker in today's video so it's a goalkeeper so the stats are going to be different that we're going to be looking at so boys it's time to see how many clean sheets and how many appearances he got because that's pretty much the only stats we can take apart ochoa did get 40 appearances and 12 clean sheets. 12 clean sheets is actually insane, man. That is definitely more clean sheets than Harry Maguire has achieved this season. <laughs> And boys, the main reason I'm excited for this video is to see if a goalkeeper can win the Ballon d'Oro in FIFA 22. But let's go ahead and go to season two, keep him here for at least one more season, and let's see how he does. Okay, in season number two, he has reached a 72 rating. Real quick, if you guys do not know who Ochoa is, he's basically gonna go down as the second best keeper of all time in Mexico. Known for his amazing reflexes and obviously his legendary game against Brazil. But anyways, boys, we're not moving clubs. Let's go ahead and give him his new development plan for this season and we're gonna switch to goalkeeper. We're basically just gonna take turns with these the whole video. But anyways, after an outstanding 12 clean sheets in his first year, let's go ahead and go to the end of season two and let's see if he can win his first trophy. Okay, boys, in season number two, we did finish in the playoffs in 10th place. Come on, Memo Ochoa, take him to your first title playoff round we beat Chivas quarters we beat Santos okay we're back in the semis we're in the final against Cruz Azul bro we have to be Cruz Azul Cruz Azul are literally bottle jobs man and let's go boys our first trophy in only season two man okay boys we still have the second part of the tournament let's go ahead and see how he did this time around a seventh place finish is pretty respectable as for the playoff round we lost to San Luis we've lost to San Luis like three times already man however not only did he pick up his first trophy but he is now a 76 rated another plus five for Memo Ochoa okay as for clean sheets did he somehow beat his record of 12 and two clean sheets man and 42 appearances Two clean sheets for a goalkeeper? That's disgusting, bro. What an underwhelming season for Memo Ochoa, clean sheets-wise. But he's still group. But you know what? Next season, let's transfer list him. If we get a good offer, we'll leave. If we don't, I don't mind staying here for at least one more year. Okay, boys, in season number three, he's 76. I think he could play in the Prem, but you know what? We're gonna try not to go there because it might be a little bit too difficult for him. He has already submitted a transfer request, so we're just gonna go ahead and wait for an offer. The season was about to start, so I transferred him myself to Los Lille. You know what? They have a pretty decent team, and I think this is the level he should be at right now. His development plan this year will be sweeper keeper because last year we did go keeper. But you know what? Let's go to the end of the season. Let's see how he does in his first season in Europe. The end of season three, and Ochoa's first season in the league on. He has taken up to fifth place. You know what? That is not too bad, man. Considering it's his first ever year. European season, he did pretty well. Coupe National, did we somehow win it? And no. There was no European football available for Ochoa this season, but he still went up a plus three to a 79 rated. Okay, boys, in his first season in a European club, let's see how many clean sheets he got. He got six clean sheets and 38 appearances. You know what? That is a huge improvement from last year where he got two. Even though he did not win a trophy this year, he does have European football next year. So let's go ahead and keep him here for another season and let's see how he does. Okay, boys, season number four, and he has reached that 80 rated. That's exactly where we want to be at this stage. As for development plans this year, it's pretty boring. There's only two options to choose from. We did sweeper keeper last year. We're going to do goalkeeper this year. But let's sim to the end of season four where he does have European football, and let's see if he can win a second trophy in his career. Okay, boys, his second season in League One, and he has taken him to third place in Champions League qualification. That means if we do keep him here, he will be in the Champions League, I'm pretty sure. But Coupe Nationale, did we win a trophy? And we lost in the final to Ascent TM, bro. However, we were in the Conference League. Can we somehow win our first European trophy? Group C. Okay, first place, round of 16. We beat POK 6 0. Okay, quarters. We beat Martimo 4 2. I swear if we don't win this competition. We beat uh, FC Utrecht. We're against West Ham. Oh, we lost. We lost against the Hammers, bro. And we have actually won. Ochoa has a conference league to his name, bro. It's his second trophy of his career so far. But, boys, Ochoa has gone up another plus four and is now at an 84 rated. This team is actually growing pretty decently. I thought this team didn't have potential, but I guess it does. Okay, boys, it's time to see how an 84 rated Ochoa did this season. And seven clean sheets is a pretty decent number with 48 appearances. It is now going to be season five. And this is where I usually put in the the Ballon d'Oros, but Ochoa is, is just not high rated enough, so he at least needs to reach an 87 in order for us to start checking because that's when he really has a chance. 
Okay, boy, season number five, and he is now at an 85 rating, slowly becoming one of the best goalkeepers in the world. And you guys may be wondering, Edgar, what development plan are you gonna give him? You have so many options, and no, of course, it's gonna be Sweeper Keeper, man. There's no other option. Okay, boys, we just reached the end of season five, and Memo Ochoa has given Los Lele a league title, man. I don't even know how this has happened, bro. I guess it just proved my point and what I say in every video. Goalkeepers are the most important players on the field. But Coupe National, can we win a domestic double? And no, boys. As for the Champions League, we were Group D. Did we go ahead and qualify for the round of 16 okay second place run of 16 did we win we lost to juventus 5-4 man but boys i try wins his first ever european league title and ochoa has reached an 88 rating he is two off that 90 man okay boys let's see if he can beat his record of 12 clean sheets in his first ever season as a professional and it's going to be 13 clean sheets and 53 appearances he has done it man it's taking him a couple seasons but he has finally gotten more than 10 clean sheets again okay up next we have season number six and i can finally start checking the ballon d'oros even though mbappe is still gonna win all of them but anyways let's go to season number six real quick okay boys season number six he's at an 88 i'm gonna keep him here one more season if they somehow win like the champions league or something then we'll go ahead and stay but if we don't win like a bunch of trophies then we're just gonna leave the only reason i'm saying that is because this team is surprisingly very good so i want to go ahead and stay here as for his development plan you guys know the draw we're switching back to goalkeeper because there's only two we can do okay let's go ahead and sip to the first ever ballon d'oro ceremony of this video and let's just hope that ochoa somehow wins it okay boys first ballon d'oro ceremony of the video come on give it to memo ochoa i've never seen a goalkeeper win the ballon d'oro in fifa and killing mbappe per usual <laughs> boys it's the end of season six if we do not win the champions league title i will leave clubs to a super club but boys guess what in this league season we have got in second place we lost in goal difference to psg man but can we win our first ever coupe national and no boys but we're in the trophy champ this year did we win it and let's go boys we have won one trophy so far as for the UEFA champions league we were in group b let's see if we finish in first or second and yes boys easily with 15 Run of 16, we lost here last round, and we lost to Spurs on pens, bro. We have won one trophy this year, and we're definitely leaving the club. Memo Ochoa is at an 89, bro. He's about to crack that 90, man. Oh, my God. I hope, I really do hope he wins a Ballon d'Oro in this video. Quickly, before we move on to stats, just look at this team, man. Shout out to this team for growing so much. But, boys, let's go ahead and check his stats. How many clean sheets did he get? And 10 clean sheets. Another double-digit season, and 49 appearances is absolutely amazing. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and go to season number 7. Transfer list them and see what super club we can get. I'll probably just end up trying transferring myself because I don't want to wait for a transfer offer. Okay, boys, it's season number seven, and you know what? I took matters into my own hands. Instead of waiting forever for an offer, I have created one myself, and you know what? I didn't want Chicharito to be the only player to play for Real Madrid in this generation. So we have joined Real Madrid, and Ochoa has reached a 90 rating while transferring. And boys, guess who has joined us here at Real Madrid? It's actually Alexis Vega. That's insane. But boys, we have three seasons to try to win that ever-elusive Champions League and win as many trophies as we can, and also win the Ballon d'Oro. Last year, we did goalkeeper, I do believe, so we're going to do sweeper-keeper once again. Okay, boys, season number seven ceremony of the Ballon d'Oro. Please, Ochoa win it and Erling Haaland, bro. I don't think it's possible to win it with a goalkeeper, man. Okay, boys, in Ochoa's first year at Real Madrid, he has <laughs> lost the league title again for the second time in goal difference. It wasn't even goal difference as well. It was just head-to-head, -head, man. Bruh. Super Copa, though. Can he win his first trophy here? And yes, boys, that's one trophy. Copa de España. Can we make it two? No, boys. As for the Champions League, did he go ahead and win it? And... No, boys, Atletico have won it. They got knocked out in the quarterfinals to eventual winners. Boys, Ochoa's at a 92. This has to give him the Ballon d'Or, surely. Okay, boys, as for stats this season, how good did he do? And six clean sheets and only 24 appearances. What? Who played goalkeeper? They didn't even make 30 appearances in total. Well, at least he got his fifth trophy to his name. Let's go ahead and go to the second to last season, season number eight, and see how he does. Okay, boys, second to last season. Let's hope he can finally win the Ballon d'Or. Let's see, let's just give him goalkeeper. He can still grow, man. It's actually dangerous how fast he can grow. Okay, boys, second to last Ballon d'Or ceremony. Can Ochoa somehow win it? And ooh, Joao Felix, man. It's a La Liga player who is an even 95 rated, man. Okay, boys, and Ochoa, second season at Madrid. He has finally won the league title. Let's go, boys. Super Copa, can he go ahead and win a double? And no, they weren't even in the final. Copa de España, though. Did they reach the final? Yes, boys, that's domestic double so far. Okay, boys, Champions League. Did they even reach the final? Did they even win it? And no, boys. Chelsea have won it. Where did they even lose? Oh, no, boys. They they lost in the round of 16 United. Two more trophies to watch out, but we don't care about that because he is now at a 95 rating, man. 95 rated goalkeeper. How many clean sheets can he get? And eight clean sheets and 53 appearances. You know what? It's pretty decent. Okay, boys. He has one last season to win the Ballon d'Or and to win the Champions League. Okay, boys. There's one more season left. Let's see if he can do it. Okay, boys, season number nine, the last season, his last chance to win the Ballon d'Or in the Champions League. Can he still grow? He probably cannot, but boys, let's go ahead and see if he can win that Ballon d'Or. Okay, boys, last Ballon d'Or, last chance. Is it possible for a goalkeeper like Ochoa 
to win the Ballon d'Or and <laughs> no boys it's Vinicius Jr our teammate oh my god I literally thought it would have been a job bro that's so disappointing EA please fix your game it is possible it should be possible for a goalkeeper to win on the Ballon d'Or okay boys and Ochoa's last season here in this video he has <laughs> lost the league title by four points as well okay let's super speed this super copa and they lost to Alva Alaves what okay Copa España we have to win that please Okay, boys, the Champions League, come on. If he did not win the ball on door, he has to at least win the Champions League in this video. And it's going to be a pass down penalties to enter, bro. Ochoa is the most unluckiest man on the planet right now. From losing the final on penalties to enter, then losing the ball on door to his own teammates. And, boys, I think I found the solution on why they lost so many times. Ochoa got injured, man. Who knows how long he's been injured. Okay, boys, in Ochoa's final season, how did he do? He played 36 games in nine clean sheets. Pretty decent, though. Okay, boys, it's time to read Ochoa's final stats. Started off his career at a 67 rated at Chivas, ended up playing for lost Lily and now finished his career at Madrid at a 95 rating. This man achieved 73 clean sheets, 382 appearances, 7 trophies, and unlucky 0 Ballon d'Ors. But boys, that is the end of today's video on Guillermo Ochoa. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you click that like button and that subscribe button. Hopefully by the time you guys are watching this, we have reached 3,000 subscribers. If you guys have not checked out my last video, make sure to check it out. I replaced Cristiano Ronaldo with his own son.